What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Giovanni. I'm back. I haven't been on this for a while. I've been super busy. But yo, let's get straight into this, man. Diddy House was raided by Homeland Security. Let's get straight to this, man. I see a lot of people on, on YouTube, bunch of people condemning this man. Oh, this guy's the guy that did, he did that, he did this, he did that. Like, come on, man. Y'all really think that they raided this man's house for sex trafficking? Y'all really think that? Y'all really think that his house was raided for sex trafficking? Me personally, you know what I think his house was raided for? I think this man's house was raided because there's some rich, powerful, prominent people that's been recorded on videos in Diddy's house and they found out that Diddy has very, very valuable videos of them doing crazy sick stuff at his house and they made them phone calls to them people to run up in his house to get that first of all where does this whole allegation of sex trafficking come it just came out of nowhere out of nowhere out of nowhere and think about this why do you need tanks these niggas had tanks running up this nigga driveway for quote unquote Sex trafficking charges. And then all, all of us out of nowhere, the news reported that, oh, there's a bunch of valuable videos of rich and famous and powerful people that were being recorded under their free will at Diddy's house. Diddy had hidden cameras in his rooms of his house recording people without them knowing. Last time I checked, putting cameras in your own house is not illegal. It's not a crime to have cameras in your house. Now, if you come to my house and you want to come do freaky stuff in my crib and you happen to get recorded, that's on you. I don't have to tell you that I have cameras in my house. This is my house. This is private property. This is not a public. This is what you people not understanding. Y'all making it seem like, which I'm not saying that I'm pretty sure them cameras is there. For that reason. You don't just get rich. Super rich and famous. Like how Diddy's got super rich and famous. With not having. You need some type of. You need some type of. Thing to hold against people. To blackmail people. So you can make money in this world. This is how these rich people do. All of these rich people. They blackmail each other for money. The problem is. Some powerful person. Has got caught on video at Diddy's house. And that person. Is aware of that. And that person is trying to not allow that video to come out. And how much y'all want to bet. How much y'all want to bet. Weeks from now. Y'all going to see a lot of those videos. Get leaked out. Into the world. But guess what they're going to leak. They're only going to leak the videos. Of black people doing crazy stuff. How much money you want to bet. There's videos of white people in that house doing some crazy sick stuff as well. But I guarantee you they're not going to release none of those videos. They're going to release all, all the all, bunch of rappers, singers, all black actors and black rappers and, and black people. How much you want to bet? How much money you want to bet? How much money y'all want to bet? Y'all people keep... And this is what I don't respect. This is what I don't respect about all of you YouTubers... Just people in general. How, how can you condemn a person? From he say, she say. You people have yet to see any evidence. Any videos of this man raping anybody. Any. Sorry, you, I'm, not, I'm not even supposed to use the word. Y'all willing to condemn somebody. And y'all don't have no direct evidence. All y'all have is a bunch of he say, she says. From a bunch of. Starving YouTubers that's just making content so they can sell YouTube ads to make money. To make money. There's no way in hell you're going to tell me that this man was running a sex trafficking ring in his house where he has his daughters, sons. He has people that's working in the house. He got celebrity friends that come to the house. All Somebody's going to say something about that. Somebody, you have your man Gene Dill. 
Gene Dill been talking smack about Diddy for years. For years. Gene Dill's been saying a bunch of stuff about Diddy's being Diddy gay. Diddy's into Diddy's into his little freak offs and gay stuff and all types of stuff. If if Gene Dill was willing to expose all of that, why haven't Gene Dill ever exposed sex trafficking? And y'all people keep thinking that. Oh, sex trafficking. Yeah, Diddy. Yeah, Diddy, yo. They ran up in this house with sex trafficking. Sex trafficking is not something a, a one person do on their own. This is a production. It takes a production of people to orchestrate sex trafficking. So you don't just run up in a man's house. And, and, and the thing is, right? Y'all don't understand. Y'all don't understand how white supremacy work. A lot of y'all don't understand how white supremacy work. A lot of y'all don't understand how the, the, the measures that rich, powerful people take to protect themselves. That I, I really don't think y'all understand how, like, this stuff goes on in movies every time, all day. Y'all see this shit in movies all the time. And y'all still don't believe that this shit happens in real life? Rich, powerful niggas, if they find out a nigga got a video of them, Doing some crazy wild shit at their crib. These niggas will contact government officials and all types. Get 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 government get a get a judge to sign off a freaking get a judge to sign off a freaking a, a search warrant to come into your crib and make it seem like they running in your house for drugs and guns and all types of stuff. Because the, the the real thing about this right is they can't get an order. They can't get a search order to run up in your house. For a civil suit So the only way a judge would sign off A search warrant Is if they convince the judge that There are criminal charges This is a criminal investigation This is why we need this search warrant To run up in his house This whole thing Y'all don't see that this whole shit is foul play There's a and I've been telling my boy this for, for months. I'm like, yo, bro, this whole thing about Diddy raping chicks and Diddy doing this, this shit is bullshit. I've been telling him that it was a conversation that happened with Diddy and some powerful people. And these powerful people has been informed that, that there's videos of them at Diddy house. And Diddy's holding this video against these people. Trust and believe. This is the only reason why. They had to convince a judge that there's sex trafficking going on in this man's house and there's criminal things going on in his house. There's a criminal organization go happening in his house and we need to run up in his house. Look, the first thing that came, the first evidence that came out in the news, the news reported, oh, there's videos, there's videos of rich and famous people in Diddy's house. They were being recorded without, without their consent. Obviously, they, this is the this is the real reason they ran up in that man's crib. They ran up in that man's crib because Diddy. Listen, I'm not saying that it's okay for you to s allegedly have freak offs in your house and having people come to your crib and you recording people without them knowing. That's foul. That's some foul, vindictive stuff. I'm not saying Diddy's not wrong. I'm pretty sure Diddy's have done Diddy done a bunch of wrong things in his life. But let's not stop. Let's not. Let's not sit here and try to condemn this man over things you don't know. What I'm not going to do is I'm not going to condemn a person or convict a person. And I don't know the man. Innocent people go to jail every day. Innocent people go to jail every day. And I'm talking about innocent black people. You got people getting locked up every single day over things that they didn't even do. So y'all got to stop sitting up here. I understand the YouTube algorithm. The algorithm. It, 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 Diddy's trending on the algorithm right now. So all y'all thirsty, hungry people. Y'all thirsty niggas. Y'all niggas be so hungry. Anything that's trending on the algorithm. Oh, let me hurry up and go make a video. Let me be a part of this bandwagon. So I can get me a little hundred thousand, two, three hundred thousand views. So I can make me a little two, three hundred dollars off this video. 
Y'all be too feet. Y'all be fiending. A lot of y'all be hungry and y'all be thirsty just pushing out propaganda because y'all want money. None of y'all, none of you people have ever been to Diddy House. None of you niggas know him personally. None of you niggas ever seen him do anything sexual around y'all. And y'all quick to say, oh, this nigga Diddy out here raping chicks. Why? Because Cassie came out and said X, Y, Z. Y'all don't even, Cassie didn't sue Diddy. Cassie sued Revolt. Because her lawyer was smart. Her lawyer was like, you know what? If you sue him as an individual, he's powerful, he has money, it's going to be your word against his word. You're going to have to prove, you're going to be, have, you're going to have to be able to prove this, something that happened 10 years ago. So you know what? Let's go after Revolt. Revolt has shareholders. You have people that's sitting on a board. There's a chair. People sitting on boards. You have rich people that invested their money into this company that has a say-so into this company. And these rich people that invested their money, you, 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 you sue somebody, you, you, you put out allegations of somebody who's a part of this company with them. They're going to, oh, no, nah, no, nah, we don't want, we don't want this negativity tied to us. So, you know what, you'll take this little money real quick. You'll get out of here so we can sweep this thing under the rug. That made it seem like it was Diddy's choice to give the money up. Diddy was, it wasn't his choice to give the money up. Y'all got to chill out. Y'all got to chill out. It don't work this way. Y'all people got to do better than this, man. Y'all got to do better. Y'all can't, y'all can't keep sitting up here. Any little thing y'all hear on the internet, y'all just want to quick to go make a video because y'all thirsty for views. Because y'all niggas is thirsty for views. And like I said before, and like I said again, I bet you that they ran up in this man's house for those videos. Had nothing to do with no sex trafficking. And it had nothing to do with no sex trafficking. And why? And this is show you that it has nothing to do with sex trafficking. Why are you locking up? Why did they put handcuffs on his sons? You had a search warrant to search the house. You didn't have a search warrant to lock anybody up. You didn't have a search warrant to search anybody's body. You had a search warrant to search the premises. So all this other extra, all this other extra thing that they did, coming to the house with tanks, like y'all niggas was looking for El Chapo or some shit. Like y'all niggas made it seem like this nigga had bombs and all types of crazy shit in the crib, boy. Y'all, this nigga was hiding Osama Bin Laden in the crib. Like that shit was a little excessive to me. Me personally, that was violation. The niggas violated him, and that that was done purposely to assassinate his character, to assassinate his character in the freaking in the public's eye. So you thirsty niggas could make more videos. That's all it was for. That being said, man, she boy Giovanni. I know a lot of y'all. Y'all not gonna agree with what I said in the comments. Which I don't care. I don't care if y'all agree or y'all y'all disagree or y'all agree with me. I don't care. Because at the end of the day, I realize people today don't have a mind of their own. Everybody's just going to follow what everybody else is saying because y'all niggas is trying to get paid. And y'all don't want to seem like outcasts. Me personally, them niggas didn't run up in Diddy Crip for no damn sex trafficking. I'm telling y'all right now. Some powerful people was recorded at his house without them knowing, doing some wild shit. And they don't want that information to get out. All right? Peace.